MS Excel 2010 MS Excel 2010 In our day-to-day -day lives, we come across many tasks and one of these tasks is making lists. It could be a shopping list, list of students going on a picnic or a list of books to buy and their prices. Manually, this can be time-consuming and can have lots of errors too. A computer program can easily solve this problem by making our tasks easier. Microsoft Office Suite provides a spreadsheet program called MS Excel, which will do all the above tasks for you quickly and accurately. It enables the user to store, organize and manipulate data in tabular format, that is, rows and columns. Rows run horizontally while columns run vertically. The intersection between a row and a column on a spreadsheet is called a cell. Features of MS Excel Excel provides spreadsheets and worksheets, calculations, all types of mathematical calculations, text manipulation, all text manipulations and formatting. Sorting. Data can be sorted in ascending or descending order. Graphing tools. Charts such as bar, column, pie, line, area, donut, scatter, surface or radar chart can be inserted in a worksheet. Conditional formatting. Starting MS Excel 2010. Steps to be followed to start working on MS Excel. To open MS Excel 2010, click on Start button, then click All Programs. Then click Microsoft Office and then Microsoft Excel 2010. The MS Excel window will open. Components of Excel Title Bar Title Bar is located at the top of the screen. It displays the name of the workbook. File menu. File menu when clicked displays a drop down menu containing a number of options such as open, save, and print. Ribbon. The ribbon is the strip of buttons and icons located above the work area. Each ribbon is divided into different groups. The various ribbons are home, insert, page layout, formulas. Data, Review and View Column Letter Columns run vertically on a worksheet and each one is identified by a letter in the column header. Row Numbers Rows run horizontally in a worksheet and are identified by a number in the row header. Together, a column letter and a row number create a cell reference. Each cell in the worksheet can be identified by this combination of letters and numbers such as A1, F456 or AA34. Active cell In a worksheet, a cell is called active if it has a black outline where you can enter data or make changes. The black outline is known as cell pointer. Formula bar the formula bar is located above the worksheet. This area displays the contents of the active cell. It can also be used for entering or editing data and formulas. Name box. Located next to the formula bar, the name box displays the cell reference or the name of the active cell. Sheet tab. By default, there are three worksheets in an Excel 2010 file. There can be more. The tab at the bottom of a worksheet tells you the name of the worksheet, such as Sheet 1 or Sheet 2. You switch between worksheets by clicking on the tab of the sheet you want to access. Quick Access Toolbar This customizable toolbar allows you to add frequently used commands. Worksheets A grid of cells is called a worksheet. There are 10 lakh, 48,000, 
576 rows by 16,384 columns from A to XFD in Excel. Status Bar At the bottom of the Excel window, you can see the status bar, which reports the average, count and sum of the selected cells. Moving around in Excel To move through a worksheet, you can use the arrow keys, the scroll bars, or the mouse to move between cells and to move quickly to different areas of the worksheet. Keys used to move cell pointer around the worksheet include right arrow or tab moves one cell to the right. Left arrow or shift plus tab moves one cell to the left. Up arrow moves one cell up down arrow or enter moves one cell down. Page up moves up one screen. Page down moves down one screen. Home moves to the first cell which is column A of the current row. Control plus home moves to the first cell in the top row which is A1. Control plus end or end home moves to the last column of the last occupied row. This cell is at the bottom right edge of your data. Enter key will finish data entry in a cell and move to the next cell below it. Escape key will cancel the data entry in the current cell. Delete key will delete contents of a cell if any. Backspace key will delete the entry of the current cell and will make ready for editing. In a worksheet, you can move cell by cell or sheet by sheet by clicking any box containing any data in the sheet. Press down the control key while pressing an arrow key which moves the insertion point. Control and right arrow to the last box containing data of the current row. Control and left arrow to the first box containing data of the current row. Control and up arrow to the first box containing data of the current column. Control and down arrow to the last box containing data of the current column. Control and page up to the sheet in the left of the current sheet. Control and page down to the sheet in the right of the current sheet. Control and home to the beginning of the sheet. Control and end to the end of the sheet. Entering data. A worksheet is useless without data. Data is always entered in the cell. To enter data in a cell, first click a cell on the worksheet. Next, enter the numbers or text that you want and then Press enter or tab. To enter data on a new line within a cell, enter a line break by pressing alt plus enter. Data type. Data type tells the type of data entered in a cell. In MS Excel, following type of data can be used in an Excel worksheet. Text, numbers, date, time and formula. Text. A combination of letters, numbers and special characters can be defined as text. You know that you can enter text, number, formula, date and time in an Excel. If any data cannot be recognized as a number, date, time or formula, Excel considers it as text. A cell can contain up to 32,000 767 characters. Numbers. You can enter numeric data in cells on which we can perform calculations. Numeric data may be whole numbers or numbers with fraction. For example, 25, minus 80, 0 0.02589, minus 0 0.8357, etc. Date and time. 
MS Excel also provides special features to handle date and time so that necessary calculations can be performed on them. Date and time are stored as a sequence of numbers. Formula With the numeric data in the sheet, we need to perform some calculations like addition, multiplication, finding maximum value, etc. In MS Excel, we can create our own mathematical expressions called formula. A formula is an expression consisting of values for performing calculation using suitable operators. It starts with an equal to sign. In Excel, there are predefined formulas called functions that make calculations easy. Numeric formulas in MS Excel can be of two types. Basic formula having single mathematical operator. For example, formula for performing addition, subtraction, multiplication or division. For example, is equal to B1 plus B2. This will add the values of cells B1 and B2. Compound formula having more than one mathematical operator. For example, formula for calculating simple interest. For example, is equal to B1 into B2 into B3 divided by 100. It will multiply the values of cells B1, B2 and B3 and divide the result by 100. Calculations in Excel We can perform simple arithmetic calculations in MS Excel through formula. For example, we can calculate total marks for each student in this table. Steps to be followed to create a formula to find total marks. First, click on cell F2 and type equal to sign. After equal to sign, write the complete formula. This will add values in cells B2, C2, D2 and E2 in cell F2. After writing the formula, press enter to get the answer. Repeat the same for other students. Change cell addresses. Writing the same formula again and again seems tedious. There is a way to write the formula automatically with change cell address by using auto sum function. Go to cell F4 and click auto sum and press enter to confirm the sum. Working with worksheet. The grid of cells is called worksheet. The set of worksheets is referred to as workbook. A workbook has initially three worksheets but may be extended to any number of worksheets further. To create a new workbook, you can open a blank workbook. Worksheet begins with row number 1 and column number A. Each cell may contain a number or text or formula.